Real quick, the only ask I could ever have of you guys is to help spread the word so we can help more women lose body fat, build muscle, reach their goals, and feel insanely confident. And the only way we can do that is if you rate, review, and share this podcast. So the single thing I ask for you to do is if you could leave a review, it will take you 10 seconds and it will mean the absolute world to me and may change the world of someone else. What's up, you guys? What's up, you guys? What's going on, you guys? I am your host, Nikki Stott, co-founder and brand personality of Warrior Babe, where we talk about mindset, methodology, and tactics that will help you lose body fat, build muscle, be strong, and feel insanely confident. Welcome, my friends, to episode number one, all about welcoming you guys to the Macro Hour podcast. We'll dive into who this podcast is for, who it's not for, what it's all about. I'm going to share my fitness background with you guys, the backstory of it all, the birth of Warrior Babe, and then I'll explain this podcast release schedule and its structure. So let's talk about who this podcast is not for. This is not for anybody that is like a quick fix seeker. Like you want to hop into something that's going to get you results in like, you know, 30 days and like expect that those results are going to be life changing results. Like this is not for you. This podcast is not going to give you quick fixes. Um, this podcast is also not for people who are, you know, instant gratification goers. Like, you know, I'm going to pop my body into a microwave, press 30 seconds, and out comes a tone body. Like, you know, wanting results like yesterday. Like, this is not for you. I am not going to speak to instant gratification tactics. Like, this podcast is for those who understand or want to understand that building muscle and changing your body composition is a long-term game. Weight loss and fat loss, these two concepts are misunderstood. So first of all, let's talk about weight loss. Weight loss refers to the decrease in overall body weight, which can be caused by a variety of factors, such as like a reduction in muscle mass, water weight, or fat. So like, Anybody can lose weight. Anybody can jump on to like the newest craze fad diet that's out there that's talking and speaking to weight loss and like you're going to lose weight because those are putting into calorie deficits. But like, this is the thing, you're gonna lose a variety of different things like I just spoke to. You're gonna lose muscle mass, you're gonna lose water weight, you're gonna lose fat, you're gonna lose, you know, your organ sizes are going to get smaller. This is how I like to explain it. If you're just focusing on weight loss, you're going to become a skinnier, fatter version of yourself. This is all part of the progress. It's that controversy that your mom may not understand what you're doing, right? Your husband may not understand what you're doing. All of these guys, like I'm saying, have all of these things that they have to say towards you. Like the people that you work with may not understand what you're doing because you can't eat the French fries at lunch. Or like, not that you can't, you just choose not to. This is part of the sacrifice, which is a part of the progression. But most importantly, sacrifice versus investment. This is an investment in yourselves. I don't want you to think about it in the terms of a sacrifice. Like start thinking about it in terms of an investment into you, into what you want, and into the goals that you want to accomplish. It is all of that. It's not a sacrifice because like how you speak to yourself is how you act. You probably got the flock of opinions from your loved ones, your friends, your distant cousins, like coming into play right now that are probably and may like be drowning you and may be honestly the reason why you aren't maybe progressing forward. Please don't take anything personally. Like seriously, whatever happens around you, don't take it personally. Like some of you guys may experience somebody say like a friend, a family member, a husband, you know, a partner, hey, you won't or you can't accomplish that goal. Guys, it has nothing to do with you when they're saying that, but everything to do with them. And if you take it personally, then it's safe to say you believe that you can't accomplish the goal. And if that's the case, then you're super easily influenced by somebody else's opinion. Okay, if somebody like says, hey, you won't or you can't accomplish that and you believe that, then you're easily influenced by that person's opinion. Yet that person's opinion has absolutely nothing to do with you and everything to do with the thought processes that are going inside of their head. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with themselves. All people live in their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one that you live in. 
you know, a lot of people often use these terms like diet and lifestyle change interchangeably. And while they like may seem similar, there are some important differences between the two. So I just want to distinguish those important differences between the two. Like a diet is just like a temporary approach. You guys know that. It's like a temporary approach to food that's usually focused on achieving a couple of things. Like, you know, the physical aesthetics. I want to lose 10 pounds in two months. So I go on this like low carb keto diet to lose all of this weight in X amount of time. Or like someone has like a specific health goal or they're like, fixing a particular health issue. Like for instance, some people may adopt like a low carb diet because their doctor tells them to go on it or like a gluten-free diet to manage their celiac disease, right? So like the diet, the doctor's like go on this diet because it's gonna get to the root problem, which will help alleviate the symptoms, which will then fix the problem. Lifestyle change that is just like a long-term commitment to living a healthy, balanced lifestyle. That's what a lifestyle change is. Like this involves a holistic approach to health that, you know, encompasses a variety of areas, including not just your diet and not just what you're following and not just like, I'm going to hop on this bandwagon, but it encompasses diet, exercise, stress management, proper sleep, like sleep hygiene, stay hydrated, all of the things that are just so important. So it's not just about what you eat, but also how you guys live your lives on a day-to-day basis. So many of us are so afraid to fail. And then when you do fail, you're less likely to pick up and get right back to it. Like failure runs the trajectory of your entire nutrition focus, your entire, like if you're it's stuck in this like hamster wheel, it is because failure is getting the best of you. I just want you guys to seek failure. I want you guys to be friends with failure. I want you to know that you are going to fail. And it's okay. It doesn't mean that you need to quit and stop and and give up on what you're trying to go after, okay? It's just a part of your journey. Big transformations demand a willingness to make mistakes, you guys. If you want a big transformation with your body, if you want to build muscle, you want to change your body composition, you have to demand a willingness to make mistakes with yourself. And you have to be okay with that. If you screw up on macros the first few weeks, if you miss a workout because, you know, your day was poorly planned, that's okay. Hey, hey, just want to drop a huge appreciation to you guys listening to the show. It means a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying it and there's so much more to come with it. If you are enjoying it, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate that tons. And also it would help this podcast reach others who need to hear these messages too. And why you have an unhealthy metabolism is because you're no longer getting hunger cues. It is so important for your body to still get hunger cues. That is a sign of a healthy metabolism. And this is also where I want to bash people over the head with a book that say, I don't want to feel hungry when I'm going into cut or when I'm going into like decreasing my calories. Dude, feeling hungry is a sign of a healthy, strong metabolism. And so when you don't get those hunger cues, it means something is off. So these are some things that are just so important that you get fixed um, and you can naturally fix it by eating the right amount of food. And usually it's a little bit more food than what you've been eating to date with being an under eater. I want to turn you into being a meal prep freaking master. It is not that hard or bad to do. (laughs) It's not that challenging. First and foremost, like In anything and everything that I do, there's always a plan and strategy before I go and do it, right? Like my day, my days, I write down what I need to accomplish for the day and then I prioritize the top things and then I go and take action on those top things. Same thing goes for meal prepping, you guys. It's like, okay, priority, what is priority in my meal prep game? That may be the things that take the longest are gonna go in the first, And then everything else can literally just be done as those things are cooking, right? So for example, pick a day of the week that you're going to do this. Pick a Sunday that you, and, and like you have the time. Okay, guys, like I don't, I hate hearing the excuse of like, I don't have enough time to do this. You have the time. It's 
four percent of your day to spend an hour meal prepping eight percent of your day to if it takes you two hours but we're gonna get that time down today so you have the time plus these are actionable items for you to start behaving and moving on towards the person that you want to become. You guys think that eating less is the answer. Like that is the main thing that I always hear is a problem for women is that they are not eating enough food. And it's slowly becoming more apparent how that's not the take on things anymore and how food is fuel and how strong bodies and that you need food to build a muscle and et cetera, et cetera. And like, I stand behind that message so freaking much. And so a mistake that I see is women just being stuck in that old mentality of eat less and needing to eat less to lose weight and stuck in this cardio machine mentality and like, you know, all of that stuff that you guys grew up with and you're stuck in that mentality. So that's the big, that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see women make when they're trying to build more muscle. Counting macros isn't what got me the results. Following a bodybuilding diet is what got me quick, you know, those stage results. But learning macros is what gave me results for the long term. Okay, and why I still had the results that I do now eight years later is because I've learned macronutrients and tracking macronutrients. But this is the funny part. These are things that I wish I knew when I was like taking that transition away from just like following a meal plan and bodybuilding stuff to learning macronutrients and tracking macronutrients, all of the different opportunities of food that I had now at my fingertips. And it was a rough go, guys. It was rough. Like, for the first couple of months, I threw in the towel, maybe at least like a handful of times. And to the same, you know, reason why a lot of you guys do too as well. It's hard at first. It's not like something that you or me or like I would expect you to know in a week's time and be able to boom, bang, done, like track all of your food in one day without any frustration or any mistake. Protein, protein, protein. Protein is the macronutrient god and you know what so many people struggle to hit protein so many women struggle to hit protein me too at the beginning of my journey i had to google what foods had protein in them to learn what protein what foods i needed to eat to get more protein in now the importance you guys it plays a critical crucial role in muscle development and fat loss it is the essential component of a fitness regime. Fitness is absolutely necessary, needed ingredient for women over 45 years old. I can't stress to you guys enough how important protein is. One of the biggest reasons why protein is so important for women as they age and as they get older is because as they do age and as they get older, their bodies undergo hormonal changes and experience a natural decline in muscle mass and in their metabolic rate. Type of mentality that women have around macronutrients and if you think it is restrictive. Let me ask you, how is it restrictive? Why do you think it's restrictive? Because the answer to those questions on my point of view is you can really have any and all of the foods that you want to. So there's something a little bit deeper that makes you feel like it's restrictive. Maybe it's because you think that if you're going on a new eating regime that you have to eliminate things that you once had or once enjoyed because you are trying to eat better. That ain't macros, my friends. Hear me out. You are seriously hindering your results if you are a no days off type of person. Or if like you're just starting your fitness journey and you're trying to dive into like momentum and motivation and you're diving into an X day such and such and there's no days off in there, you are setting yourself up for failure by kicking your journey off, If you, especially if you want longevity and sustainability in that type of mindset with a no days off mentality. And like, I understand and like what I'm going to just, I, I'm going to debunk this, this popular myth in, in the fitness space, no days off. And I understand that it may inspire dedica dedication. It may inspire grit. It may inspire this willpower. It may inspire all of these things, but this no days off misses a crucial piece of the fitness puzzle. And that is the undeniable importance of rest days. Like this is a thing and it's not sexy to say, 
but building muscle takes time. And so many of you guys want results like yesterday. So many of you results want people, so many of you people want results within the next three weeks. And you think that cardio is going to get you there. While it may, it won't like it won't be the actual like long-term sustainable focus for you, where you can keep doing strength training for the rest of your life because it is so damn good for you. That's going to actually create the physical changes within your body by building more muscle. And when you build more muscle because of the active tissue that it is, you're going to burn more calories. And then you're speeding up your metabolism. There's so many benefits when it comes to building more muscle. So stop focusing on all of this cardio and boot camps and orange theory and like, you know, going out, you can go out and run. I, I don't, I don't want to bash cardio entirely, but make sure you're pairing it with solid strength training days and that you're fueling your body appropriately, that you're eating right, that you're, you know, giving your body what it needs in order to get you the optimal results that you want to see. And then most importantly, you want to optimize your sleep and recovery properly because sleep is huge. The most important thing to remember on this holiday is to be present, is to be mindful, is to experience and fully engage in this, in the holidays, in this day, you know, being around the company of your loved ones, being in the holiday spirit, appreciating the food, immersing yourself in insane gratitude for these experiences that you are a part of, right? Like the conversations, the memories, the family members that maybe you haven't seen all year and you get to catch up on this day, the friends that maybe are traveling in from all around the country to see you and to see your family and to see the kids and, you know, all of these things, right? This is your time to be fully engaged in this experience and to be extremely present for this day. So I don't expect any of you to worry about your nutritional choices on Thanksgiving or Christmas or Hanukkah. I don't expect you to bring your scale to these outings and weigh your food. I fully believe in memories over macros for these days. Real quick, the only ask I could ever have of you guys is to help spread the word so we can help more women lose body fat, build muscle, reach their goals, and feel insanely confident. And the only way we can do that is if you rate, review, and share this podcast. So the single thing I ask for you to do is if you could leave a review. It will take you 10 seconds. And it will mean the absolute world to me and may change the world of someone else.